you know, everybody wants to talk about, well, why did Kyrie choose the Nets? We know it was really about getting to play on Yes every night, you know, <laughs> growing up watching the Yes Network, right? Like, that yeah. was the number one reason, ultimately, uh, right? Yeah, yeah no, for sure. <laughs> and and um, I would say that it's just been a long-time affinity that I've had for Yes Network. I mean, I mean, it's just, I, it was in my household. I was taking the three-game packages that Yes Network was offering, and, you know, I could see the schedule. I knew what games I was going to at being a Nets fan as a kid, so it was incredible for that to come to fruition now and being a player and actually taking this Nets kind of dream that I've had since a kid and really making it a reality, so yeah. Ian Eagle and, and Richard Jefferson are remiss. They can't be here with yeah. you. Oh, but you'll, see, you'll, see yeah. you'll see plenty <laughs> of them yeah. throughout the season. <laughs> you know, Kyrie, Sarah and I were listening to you, and, and you, you gave such beautiful, long, you know, really mm -hmm. detailed, insightful answers talking about your process to get here and mm -hmm. listening to you at the podium. You know, I'm wondering, since you've gotten here now, you know, over these last couple weeks, what, what has been your early impressions of working with Kenny in this coaching staff man it's been incredible I just think that the, re the receptivity also just the compassion and the culture of family you know that was the most important thing I know you heard me echo it on the stage but that was what they approached me as it's just a family environment we want to protect you we want to protect your family um, we want to make this feel like home for you I know it is home for you but we want to make it even feel like more home for you mm -hmm. in eight years in the league you know you see a bunch of things you experience a bunch of things and then you know you have this dream that starts as a fourth grader and now it's coming to your professional job and you're like well, how could I not take this opportunity to get to know the Nets on a different level now they're elevated they've had the players they have Kenny you know very special leader in here and he's very honest which I appreciate he's just straightforward about everything he does and <laughs> he, he never minimizes what he does but he's like yo this is just what it is I'm telling you the truth and I'm like I, I respect any coach that wants that type of relationship keep it open and he trusts me so I, I'm like he wants my experience to really be the leading factor in all of this and really use my voice. You bring up leading, and, and everyone we've talked to has talked about you as a mm -hmm. leader. In the last couple of weeks, we've talked to Sean and Kenny, and they keep pointing to how you've elevated the level of play, the compete level mm -hmm. with these guys. What approach do you take with that? And, and is that something that you're actively thinking about, how you can lead these guys, or oh, is yeah. more of it just the way in which you're approaching things? Yeah, I think that the biggest thing is just having fun with competing at a very, very high level. Um, understanding that the years it takes to put in the amount of experience that myself, K, DJ, failing on national stages, failing in practice with teammates in terms of like how do you get the best out of your teammates. You want to come in, you want to be the voice of reason for everyone, you want to help integrate everyone in a together group. And for me it was just figuring out, I just got to be myself. I just got to come in, have fun playing the game I love, and the rest of the guys will follow. Me competing at a high level, picking up, I picked up Spencer, you know, <laughs> about two weeks ago, full court, and it really raised the level of the play and practice, and everyone follows suit after that, and you want to be that type of example where it's not always your voice, but just your presence, and those guys are just hungry, they're hungry, my teammates are hungry for what this opportunity presents, so it was one of those things where... I just had to learn more about myself, and then now it's just being myself, and these guys love it, so I love it. You know, it, it's interesting, too, because you've talked about this, Kyrie. It, this is a place you chose, mm -hmm. right? I mean, and it's the first time in your career you've had choice. that choice, you know, and for an NBA player, you have to wait a while until you get to that place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What does that fact, the fact that you chose this place, Kevin chose this place, DeAndre chose this place, what does that mean for kind of the way the chemistry will develop and grow? How significant is it that you guys all chose to be here? Well, that's our biggest connection is we've we've chosen a place that we all can grow together. And we also have the experiences of the past that we connect with as well of watching each other from afar that, hey, maybe the way we did some of the things that we did in our careers could have gone differently in the way we handled it. Um, and how do we protect each other going forward so it doesn't happen again you know when we don't want to leave our brothers out there to dry we play usa together we're best friends off the court we talk every day like but we're not playing together so as kids we still have that same youthful exuberance like i want to play with my friends i want to i want to <laughs> choose to play with my friends i you know and you feel you don't want to feel compartmentalized in your job so you want to have fun and getting k dj on board was like first things first i got to get my big dogs with me they have a lot more experience in the league than I do. Let me get them with me so they can understand what it's really like to be on a first-class organization such as Brooklyn where, hey, the first thing they said out of their mouths my, uh, mouth is, we want to protect you guys. We want to protect the players. We want to protect you guys. We want to make sure you're comfortable. We want to, and for the first time in our careers, 
We're like, oh, this is this is very nice. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're, this is fair. Yeah, Are you sure yeah. we're not asking for too much? Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> like, it, it just was, it made sense, and we were all very honest about what we wanted now and going forward, and it made sense. Well, Kyrie, we appreciate the oh, time. Thanks. We're so excited to have you here. I'm going to be expecting more book recommendations throughout the year from <laughs> yeah, you as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Thank you, brother. Good to be Thanks. here, man. Good to have you here. Thank you, Kyrie.